What's up guys, little fans, good year FF4 here, and today's video is actually going to be on my top 4 most anticipated kaiju movies of 2016. Now in case you guys don't know, 2016 possibly may have the best kaiju lineup in kaiju cinema history. Uh, we have three of the biggest kaiju characters ever uh, to come back in 2016 this year. Plus, we have a newer, more recent kaiju coming back in a sequel in a big way. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, guys. So, basically, let's just go ahead and get into the list. So, uh, up at number four, I have Ultraman 2016. Now, this footage came out um, a few months ago, actually. And uh, it's just really cool. We get to see Ultraman. He's all CGI. We get to see his muscles move. He, you know, breathing. Uh, his eyes, his mouth. You know, everything just is a lot more realistic um, in the terms of that. And we also get to see the monster. It's really cool. It's like huge. You know, it's got the huge horn that shocks him. And uh, yeah, now the CGI itself though doesn't actually look that good. I will admit. You know, to me it was a little like, eh. But uh, yeah. I mean, overall, though, it was just really cool to see, but honestly, it felt more like a fan film to me. Like, it, it didn't feel like a trailer, because a trailer is supposed to, like, it's supposed to intrigue you, you know? And I didn't really get that, and we'll actually talk more about that later. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I didn't really get that. It was more like a short little fan film thing. It, it was just a cool little battle, you know? It, it didn't really feel like a trailer to me. And, uh, yeah, that's why it's kind of lower on the list. But, uh, yeah, guys, so uh, Ultraman 2016 is at my number four spot as of right now. But let's go and move on to number three. So up at number three, though, we have Gamera 2016. Now, uh, Gamera 2016, this uh, footage also came out a few months ago, uh, probably like two or three. I can't remember exactly which, but uh, it was actually for the New York Comic Con. And uh, this actually came out out of nowhere, because back in 2015, uh, there were, at the beginning of 2015, there were rumors of, uh, of Gamera 2015. And... Uh, Nothing happened with them. Everybody thought it was dead. You know, they were like, no way they're doing this. But actually, like, in 2015, late 2015, probably like November or uh, I forget when exactly. But uh, this footage came out and it was really cool. The Gamera design looks really cool, updated. Uh, it kind of looks like the uh, Heisei Trilogy Gamera, which is really cool. The Gauss also look cool, Heisei Trilogy looking. And we also get to see a new kaiju with that bubble explosion thing. Uh, really cool. I don't know if they're going to keep that kaiju. If they do, that's really cool. If they don't, I hope they kind of update it but use the same powers. Because uh, I really like that bubble power. But what I mean by update is that I mean like they update the, the design, make it a little different, you know. But, uh, yeah, and the CGI itself actually looked pretty good, uh, a lot better than Ultraman, I will say, but, uh, still not great as, like, to Hollywood standards, but as to Japanese standards, it looked pretty good. Um, but, yeah, now, sadly, though, we've basically seen everything, uh, that was shown in this before, except the, uh, well, actually, yeah, except the, the new kaiju. But what I mean by that is that we've seen Gamera fight all those, you know, swarms of gals. We've seen him do all that stuff. Uh, we, we got a little bit of character, though. We get to see his son and his father. The father's eaten. And, uh, yeah, I just find it really interesting, though. I'm really excited. Uh, the This, including the next two, are really, like, the biggest uh, kaiju movies I'm most excited for. Uh, so, yeah, just by the trailer alone, though, it was really, really cool. So up at number two, though, actually, we have Godzilla Resurgence. Yeah, and I actually debated if I should put Gamera 2016 above Godzilla Resurgence. Uh, but then I was thinking that I would, have to, I would have to put Ultraman 2016 above that, and I'm not really excited for that. And the reason I was debating that is because of the trailer. And uh, even though I really like the Gamera 2016 trailer, uh, the trailer for Godzilla Resurgence, though, I will just say right away, it sucked. It showed us nothing. It showed people running. We've already seen it before, you know. It, it was actually really, really garbage. But uh, what has me most excited, though, is uh, is the new set photos that were shown. I actually did a few videos on them. You guys can go uh, click on my channel, you know, watch them. Uh, but uh, that's what really got me excited because I... It's it's just this has the fan base so split right now with the skeletonish uh, zombie looking Godzilla. I have my own theory where it's the original 1954 Godzilla where he's regenerating back and stuff like that. And that alone to me though is that um, 
that just has me really excited for this movie because it's something new, you know? All these past ones, like uh, Gamera 2016, like I said, Ultraman 2016, uh, they're all probably going to follow the same, but Godzilla Resurgence to me is the most excited, or is one of the most exciting because it's trying something new. So, yeah, that's really all I can say about it, though. Uh, if you guys want to hear a little bit more about it, watch the, you know, watch my videos. I talk about the design. I like the design for the most part, I think it's really cool and interesting. I have to see it in motion, though. So, yeah, uh, I don't know how you guys will feel about that. Number two is for Godzilla. But, uh, yeah, so let's go on to number one. So, for number one, we have, actually, 10 Cloverfield Lane. And, uh, I was not expecting this to be my, one of my, like, my number one anticipated kaiju movie. But, uh, actually it is. I mean, uh, the trailer came out, like, two days ago. Uh, I did a video on it last night. But, uh, it was just really, really cool. Everything about it. And we saw nothing kaiju, like the Godzilla 2016 trailer, except it had actual characters, which I really like. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is, it just looks really cool. We have the female, uh, protagonist, probably, yeah. Uh, she looks really cool. John Goodman, of course, and I, I think I may like his character the most because, uh, I know him from Roseanne. I really like him. Uh, his character, it's kind of set up to be like, is he a good guy trying to protect these people, or is he a bad guy trying to keep them in? You, you know what I mean? Like, trying to shelter them or trying to trap them, kind of. Uh, the beginning though, it looked, it felt totally off tone from Cloverfield, the first one, probably also because it's not handheld. <laughs> I'm really happy about that actually, because I, 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 I didn't, I mean, I like the handheld, it was cool to see, but, uh, I don't know, I kind of like how they're kind of taking it more seriously, bigger budget, bigger production, uh, everything about it though, like I said though, uh, when she escapes, you know, smashes the bottle, it just really intrigues me, and that's what it's supposed to do, you know, it's supposed to add mystery, it's supposed to intrigue, and when she finally, like, opens that door, and he's, you know, screaming, to open that door, you're all gonna, you're gonna get us all killed, uh, it's just really cool to see, you know, with everything, like I said, the fire, how she's crawling through the vent, and when she finally sees what's out there, we don't know what's out there, my prediction, though, is that the city's destroyed, or maybe, like, all the little Cloverfield are running around, they've taken over the world, or, you know, something like that. It's just really cool and intriguing. My mind is really, like, set on something that I hope is true. You know, it's like an apocalypse. We, we haven't actually seen that. But, uh, yeah, guys, so, uh, that's basically it, though. Those are my top four anticipated kaiju movies of 2016. It was actually hard to, uh, put Godzilla as number two. <laughs> but, uh, to be honest, 10 Cloverfield Lane got me more excited. I mean, uh, just by the trailer, you know, just by, you know, that kind of thing. Plus, it's coming out really soon. Uh, literally in like two months. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, though. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Give a big thumbs up and enjoy this video. Also, though, guys, tell me your top four most anticipated kaiju movies of 2016. Also, why not your most anticipated uh, 2017 list? Uh, 2017, 2017 is definitely going to be another good year. We have uh, Skull Island and possibly Pacific Rim 2. Uh, so yeah, it's just going to be really cool all around. But, but uh, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And though, GR54 out.